OnePlus is finally rolling out Android 16, but here's the real question. Is your phone actually getting it? After months of waiting and watching other brands jump ahead, OnePlus has officially confirmed that Oxygen OS 16, its version of Android 16, is launching on October 16. And while that's exciting news, there's still a big mystery around which devices will actually get the update. Let's break this down, because there's more to this rollout than just a version number. Oxygen OS 16 is a pretty major update for OnePlus, and this time, the spotlight is on AI. The company hasn't shared a full feature list yet, but it's made one thing clear. Artificial intelligence is at the heart of this release. The update is built to work closely with Google's Gemini AI, and OnePlus's own Mindspace app will integrate directly with it. That means Gemini won't just sit in the corner of your phone, it's going to be woven deeper into how Oxygen OS works, shaping everything from personalization to productivity. The tagline OnePlus is using, intelligently yours, is a strong hint that this isn't just another incremental update. It's about building an ecosystem that learns from how you use your phone and adapts to you. In other words, this is OnePlus trying to make your phone feel a little more like a truly gets you. But let's get to the part everyone wants to know. Will your device get Oxygen OS 16? Here's what we know so far. The brand new OnePlus 15 will ship with Oxygen OS 16 out of the box when it launches later this month in China and globally in November. That's expected. Beyond that, OnePlus hasn't officially published a compatibility list yet. However, based on leaks and predictions from reliable community sources, here's a pretty good idea of which devices are most likely to receive the update. OnePlus 13, 13R, and 13S, OnePlus Open, OnePlus 12 and 12R, OnePlus 11 and 11R, OnePlus Nord 3, Nord 4, and Nord 5, OnePlus Nord CE4, CE4 Lite, and CE5, OnePlus Pad, Pad 2, and Pad 3. If you've got one of those, chances are high you'll see Oxygen OS 16 land on your device, though the timing might vary. And that brings us to another important detail, rollout strategy. OnePlus hasn't said how it plans to push out Oxygen OS 16, and that could make a big difference in how quickly you get it. Samsung, for example, took a staggered approach with its Android 16-based One UI 8, launching it first on the Galaxy S25 and slowly expanding to older devices over time. Apple, on the other hand, goes all in at once. When iOS 26 launched, every supported iPhone got the update on the same day. If OnePlus chooses the Apple approach, it would be a big win for users and a strong statement that the company wants everyone on the latest software as soon as possible. But if it goes the Samsung route, it could mean a longer wait for anyone not holding the latest flagship. Now, it's fair to point out that OnePlus is a little late to the Android 16 party. Google released Android 16 months ago, and several brands have already rolled out their custom versions. But better late than never might actually work in OnePlus's favor here. The delay could mean the company has had more time to refine its AI integration and make sure Oxygen OS 16 feels polished and meaningful, not rushed. And that's worth paying attention to because the next era of smartphones isn't just about faster chips or brighter screens, it's about smarter software. If OnePlus nails this, Oxygen OS 16 could make OnePlus phones stand out not just for their hardware, but how smart and adaptive their software feels giving users a genuinely upgraded experience instead of just a new number in the settings menu. So if you're a OnePlus user, October 16th is the date to circle on your calendar. That's when the new chapter begins. And while we still don't have every detail, it's clear that Oxygen OS 16 isn't just about catching up, it's about leveling up. My take? This update could be a turning point for OnePlus. If they execute well, Oxygen OS 16 could make OnePlus phones stand out not just for their hardware, but how smart and adaptive their software feels. But if they stumble with a slow or messy rollout, they risk frustrating loyal users who have already been waiting too long. Either way, the countdown has started, and we'll know soon enough whether Oxygen OS 16 is worth the wait. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. See you in the next video. Take care.